This is Power Ground Boxing, where we're dedicated to the great sport of boxing. I want you to subscribe right now for another jab of boxing news from around the world. Commentary and entertainment with a focus on honoring those of the past and the present who have made a positive contribution to this great sport of boxing. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm telling you, man. Listen, I just dropped a video about Jamel Charlo, right? Because I'm excited about Jamel Charlo and Tim Zhu. I'm telling you, because I think Tim Zhu is up and coming. I think he's hungry. I think he really wanted Jamel Charlo. He's getting ready to go on his first defense as being undisputed super welterweight champion, right? And yo, man, I just got some horrible news. Jamel Charlo has just fractured his hand. Now, I don't know if you fight, but listen, if you've ever dealt with a hand injury, man, this is, that's one of the worst things that you could ever, one of the worst things that you could ever do is fracture your hand. I'm telling you, man, I fractured my hand. Now, what's crazy is I fractured my hand punching someone with no boxing gloves on. You got what I'm saying? <sighs> so I don't even know. Man, I'm just very, very disappointed. I just, That news just came in that Jamel Charlo, has fractured his hand. He was supposed to fight in January. I want to say like January 28th, but that fight is going to get pushed back. It normally take about, with my hand, it took right at seven and a half weeks for my hand to heal. And then after my hand healed, I had to go to physical therapy. <sighs> Physical therapy was a monster. So then I was in physical therapy, I want to say right at four weeks. And then after all that time, then I started kind of pawing with my jab and, and doing things. So I don't know how this is going to affect Jamel Charlo. But I am telling you right now that if you are Dog, man, that's just so messed up, man. Oh, my gosh, that's just horrible, man. He just broke his hand in training camp. Oh, my God, that's just... It, I'm reading it right now. It says, Charlo broke his left hand in two different places, between the pinky and ring finger and at the base of the thumb. Wow. Wow. This is completely horrible, man. Wow. Wow, man. Like I said, man, if you ever broke your hand, then you know that's a very, very difficult. Because, you know, in boxing, your your weapon is your hand. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? So you break your weapons, man. That's just, that's a bad look. But like I said, Jamel Charlo at the weight division that he is at right now, he's undisputed. But you know, when you break your hand, then guess what? That means that you got to relax, right? Because you got to recover. And when you start relaxing and recovering, guess what? You start putting on pounds. So I don't even know if we're going to even see Jamel Charlo fighting at the division that he in. He probably going to have to, he might even have to vacate his belts. I don't even know if he's going to be able to have a successful title defense. He may have to move up and wait because I'm telling you, when you sitting in silence and you just recovering, look, you eating food, you looking at social media, you know, you may be out and about, but, you know, for the first two or three weeks, you ain't doing nothing because that hand hurting so bad, you ain't doing nothing. You know, after, after about seven weeks, you know, after about six weeks, my hand, it was hurting, but it wasn't hurting as much. So I don't even know how. I don't even know how his situation going to be because I had a fra I had a hairline fracture in my hand and it was broken in one place. His is broken 
in two places around the pinky finger and around the thumb. Man, that's a horrible fracture right there. That's a completely horrible fracture, man. I'm telling you, man, that's just, oh, man, I don't know what to say about that. I don't even know whether or not Jamel Charlo is going to be able to continue to fight at that weight division because he out of he going to be out of commission at least 90 days. So if he out of commission for at least 90 days and can't do nothing, he not going to be able to stay at that weight. At least I don't think he's going to be able to stay at that weight. What do you think? Have you ever broke your hand? Because I'm telling you, man, it's no joke. Oh, man. I'm t- when I tell you that was some very disappointing news, man, come on, Jamel. You over there breaking your hand? Man, how you going to fracture your hand, man? Listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to just cut your hand off and you just fight with one hand, okay? That's what we're going to do. I'm just playing. Man, that's a sad face, but I'm wishing... Jamel Charlo, a speedy recovery. If your recovery is like mine, I don't wish that on you because I am telling you, and now with this bad weather in Texas, guess what? This hand, it hurts with the weather. (laughs) You got what I'm saying? Like, hey, I already knew it was going to be bad weather because I felt it in my hand. You understand? Oh, my goodness, it's going to be horrible, man. I'm telling you, man, it's nothing like breaking a bone and then you get rheumatoid arthritis in that hand or in that bone because you broke it. Oh my God. It's just crazy, man. That's a sad face right there, man. Jamel Charlo, he's on my um, top pound for pound list, you know, so he's one of my favorite fighters. So that's just a big sad face, man. Oh man. That's a, that's a sad face for boxing right there. You know? So now I wonder if, if Tim Zhu, I wonder if he's still going to fight in January or he's going to do something else. Hopefully he still fights in January. But man, I really, I was really looking forward to seeing whether or not Jamel Charlo was going to defeat Tim Zhu. I was really looking forward to that match because when you undefeated and you ain't got nothing to lose and you fighting against somebody who got everything to lose more pressure is on them so with this fight it would have been more pressure on Jamel Charlo you got me and Tim Zoo like look I just got to go out there and give it my all and if he hit the upset oh my god that would be crazy that would be just make world news and then of course they have to run it back you know but Jamel Charlo has broken his hand oh man that's so messed up man hey, it just is what it is man oh well who do you think would have won between Jamel Charlo and Tim Zhu? Because I thought it was going to be a good one. Because I think people was ruling Tim Zhu. They was like, ah, nah, nah. Jamel just going to, he's going to dispose of him really quick. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought that Tim Zhu was going to be competitive for Jamel Charlo. That's what I was thinking. Man, ah, man, that's just crazy, man. Uh, but yeah, well, tell me, le- leave me in the comment section what you think about Jamel Charlo breaking his hand in training camp. Do you think Tim Zhu's going to fight? Who do you think he's going to fight next? You know, that's just how it is. But listen, this is Power Ground Boxing reminding you to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And guess what? Stay on the grind. This is Power Ground Boxing, courtesy of Power Ground Sports. Peace.